Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Tom Zolaski. And I'm Michelle McCormack. Our top story tonight is the first court appearance of the teenager who Appleton police say was at the center of this week's gun disturbance at Herb Park. Witnesses described a chaotic scene as a fight got out of control Monday and people started to scatter. This brought on a full response by law enforcement and prompted a shelter-in-place order for the neighborhood around Herb Park for several hours. While investigators believe this was a targeted attack, there have been extra patrols at the park and police say they're still looking for witnesses. Now that night, police arrested a 16-year-old who was scheduled to appear in court today. And Local 5's Paul Stino live now from the Outagamie County Courthouse with the details. Hi, Paul. Hi, Tom Michelle. Because he's only 16 years old, we are not going to show video of what Kashmir Williams looks like. However, the court did rule that we can use his name. We also did obtain a criminal complaint today, which sheds light into what he allegedly did to get an attempted first degree uh, intentional homicide charge against him. According to the criminal complaint, Williams approached the victim from behind at Herb Park, firing eight shots. The complaint goes on to say that the victim told police he felt something hit him, but didn't realize he got shot until he felt blood dripping down his body. He said when he turned around, Williams was already running the other way. In the criminal complaint, police officers said they arrested Williams at a residence on Circle Street in Appleton, where he was living. Police said Williams had shaved his head and that they found some of his clothes that he'd been wearing during the alleged shooting in yards of homes near, near Herb Park. The district attorney asked for a $750,000 cash bond. The defense asking for a signature bond or a much lower cash bond, although they did not say a specific amount, saying Williams is only 16 years old and has ties to the Appleton area. The allegations of attempted first degree intentional homicide in nature, where the alleged victim suffered a significant injury or injuries but also note, according to the criminal complaint and the argument made by the district attorney's office, that a number of people were in harm's way at the time of the alleged shooting. And quite frankly, but for the grace of God, nobody got killed. Under the circumstances, I believe Mr. Williams is a danger to the public and a flight risk. And the court commissioner did ultimately issue a $750,000 cash bond. The preliminary hearing is set for August 7th. For now, though, live from Outagamie County, Paul Stino, Local 5 News.